So um, yeah, let's create some objects. Um, you know, delete these. I'll just like the delete on my keyboard. Basically, you you have points which are not very much useful. Sometimes, yeah, but it's just like it creates you a point when when you need. So the point itself is not like a thing, but it helps you to you know link some objects to it or so. So that's why I don't use it a lot. Uh, the other type okay. of data, it's of or geometry. Uh, it's these shapes. It's called curves. Even they are like the straight lines. They are called curves in the programs. Uh, you can create like the polyline is the most used. Um, I don't know or command to create lines. If you click it, uh, it gives it asks you here. If you can see also like on the command panel up there, start of polyline so it's asking you for your first point so click somewhere then it asks you for the next point and you keep just clicking points around and to exit the um, the command you hit the enter on your keyboard the enter or the, the space bar i choose the same or the command and create Create similar object, but instead of enter, I hit uh, esc escape on the keyboard. It will just delete everything. So it will, if you want, like to totally exit or escape the the command. That's escape. You have, you can create many curvy lines, like with many different ways. So these are all the ways that you can create a curved line or a curve. Uh, so, for example, here, control points, like control or create a line with control points. So let's see. When I hit another uh, point here, or another point here, another point here, and hit enter. So basically, these like th these points are not like the the line is not passing through them, or the curve is not passing. Through. They are just like uh, control points. They are like magnets that. If you can drag them, mm -hmm. they like just uh, attract the curve according to their situation. So this is okay. the control point curve. And another type, which is the interpolate. It's also like, I'm not sure if it's the geometrical or mathematical name is like this or only in this program is like this, but interpolate, uh, it's when you want to create your line passing through or like the curve passing through your points. So now, as you can see, the points that I want my line to uh, pass by is this second command here is interpolate points. So I'm confused by that. So what do you mean by passing it through? Um, yeah, the first one, let me hold the key here and delete this. So the first Is one, it when... it's a control point. So if I say my point here, my second point is on this corner, and then my last point on this corner, and then on this corner, and I hit enter. So as you see, these controlling points, like the my curve is, does not pass through them, like that does not comes from the corners. Let me try this other one. So if I start with the same point on this corner, on this corner, then on this corner, and enter. So this is my next one. Even it shows a different control point. It creates different control point, but, but at least the points that I created this curve from, it intersects with them, it passes through them. It creates new points of control. Yeah, so it's like the best way to describe it is the SP line, as you mentioned. So it's always controlled by uh, points, and the curve is basically a mathematical definition. It's not like a geometry or, or like a solid curve or a solid line. It's always mathematical. Yeah, the other commands can create a circle, ellipse, 
rectangle, so for example, let me delete these rectangle, different ways to create rectangles. For example, the first one, corner to corner. I want it from this to this. So now just, I have a 2D shape, uh, empty rectangle. These are like only the curves or the lines uh, commands. So that's why they are um, like empty shapes. If I change to the rendered view, I can't see like a surface because it's not a surface. But if I want to apply different commands there, like for example, extrude, there is a command called extrude curve. I go enter and it creates extrusion. Ah. So it, you can create okay. uh, objects like this. Yeah, you can experiment with these tools, like how to create a polygon, like uh, it asks you for a center. So I chose this polygon uh, command. It's asking me up there for a center. So if I, even if I write directly zero, uh, zero point zero, so it will take the zero zero point uh, as the center and say enter. So it took my zero zero. Now it's asking me for like, the, the width, like, uh, of this shape and how many sides do you want? For example, if I click inside this num number of sides and I wanted 12 faces, so it creates a 12 face object or I don't know. One, okay, so yeah, you can six click six. The, what's inside the, the parentheses, you can click each one and uh -huh. then get in each one of those. Exactly. So number of sides and then mode. Uh, yeah. So you could change to uh, like a solid or something. Uh -huh. And right mode now. is like inscribed. Do you want it like uh, inscribed inside a circle or uh, outside of circle? What the, what the other mode is circumscribed. So the circumscribe uh, puts like where the next point you put, it creates um, like yeah, as you key in, in as you see in the middle of this uh, line segment there. So my control point would be that middle. The other mode is on the corner. So a different way to to create your geometry. So that's it. Okay. That's it. Okay. Now when like with the second click, now it created my shape. And nice. now it, it deals with it or again as like a line or like a polyline. So if I choose only this point and move it, so it will just move. So it's, it's, uh, also there is a very important thing. Um, the way that you choose is really like, or you select your object, uh, the first, you have two ways. The first one is like when you start to drag uh, with the normal left mouse click, when you start to drag, you start from right to left, anything that your, your selection box here, anything that it touches, it will select it. It will add it to selection. So now we have selected these two because I dragged from right to left. But if you drag mm -hmm. from left, it doesn't choose or doesn't select the anything it touches. It only selects the objects that are totally inscribed in your selection box. So for example, I choose this, but I didn't include my whole like square. So I choose only this polygon. Because actually it's like the whole square is one object. So it chooses everything. Even if I choose oh, okay. one segment, it will choose the whole object. It deals with it as an object. Let's create some surfaces geometry. As you can see here, after after these commands that are uh, that, that are useful for creating two D lines or curves like these, the first eight, I can say. Uh, 